May 31st, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Romans chapter 13 from the New Testament. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except by God's appointment, and the authorities that exist have been instituted by God. So the person who resists such authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers cause no fear for good conduct, but for bad. Do you desire not to fear authority? Do good, and you will receive its commendation. For it is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be in fear, for it does not bear the sword in vain. It is God's servant to administer retribution on the wrongdoer. Therefore it is necessary to be in subjection not only because of the wrath of the authorities, but also because of your conscience. For this reason, you also pay taxes, for the authorities are God's servants, devoted to governing. Pay everyone what is owed, taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is due, respect to whom respect is due, honor to whom honor is due. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves his neighbor has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not covet. And if there is any other commandment, are summed up in this, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. And do this because we know the time, that it is already the hour for us to awake from sleep, for our salvation is now nearer than when we became believers. The night has advanced toward dawn, the day is near. So then we must lay aside the works of darkness and put on the weapons of light. Let us live decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in discord and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to arouse its desires. God, we live in we live in such an odd time, um, where Christians are not only persecuted, but our faith is truly tested, in the sense of do we really believe what we say we believe? This passage where it's talking about submitting to government authority, I, I know freaks a lot of people out. <laughs> But here's, here's what's amazing about your word. You tell us to respect authority because we need to understand, number one, you are in control of everything. You're very aware of everything that's going on. And the people who are in those situations, you will also control those situations to become good for what you need them to be. So number one, we need to remember who's really in charge um, if we don't like our elected official. Um, bad mouthing them on social media and other places uh, it doesn't say that to do that anywhere in the bible in fact it says exactly opposite of that so we've got to keep those things in mind but part two of this and it says very clearly multiple places in your word in exodus in first kings in in daniel in matthew uh, acts hebrew so many different places it says even though i might put rulers in place and you must submit to those rulers understand if they ask you to do anything against me meaning you god you don't have to do those things but how odd that we're now in a time where that's happening laws are being passed that go against everything we believe in everything that's in the bible uh, we're being told especially here in america to believe certain things that go completely opposite of faith and when we show resistance against those things we are persecuted for that um, now the bible is really clear that we will be persecuted for those things there's no comfort passages in there as far as as being a christian and not being persecuted uh, so i get that but it's so odd that you would talk about that in the bible yet here we are in a time where where laws are being passed by those in control of our government telling us to believe in things that are exactly opposite of what you've told us to believe in. So God, I just pray for everyone listening today. 
being disrespectful and obnoxious and rude and, and making fun of government officials is not the way to get a Christian message across. And I know that you will put that on their heart and I know you will show them better words than <laughs> and pictures than what are being used uh, today. But for those things that go against our beliefs, we need to stand up for them. Um, we need to make it clear to other people, to our government, that we will submit to their authority. We will pay taxes. We'll do all the things that God asks us to do. But when you start passing laws that go against what we believe in, that's a whole other thing. Um, girls as young as 15 years old are allowed to get the Plan B contraceptive over the counter with no with their parents having no knowledge of it. Um, plan B pills, the type that are approved in this plan, if you actually read what they are, it, it supposedly irritates the uterus lining so um, the implantation can't take place. Um, whether that means the eggs are already fertilized or not, everybody's arguing about it. But if we think about it, let's take a step back. We... <laughs> We just passed a law that allows 15 year old girls to take a pill that may or may not stop conception. Shouldn't we be more concerned about the girls and what we're teaching them by approving a law that allows them to have sex and then the next morning clear away anything that, that may cause, come from that? The increase of women using these types of morning after drugs has increased from 4% to 11% in the past decade. Now that we have approved it as a society, that number is going to only increase. So these are the things, God, that, that I really struggle with. We have laws in place that make it legal in our country to do things completely against the things I believe from the Bible, the things that I know you would be against and are against. God, today I ask that you protect our walk, that you continue to put people in government places that will help us find our voice in those areas if that's what we've been called to do that the rest of us who aren't called to any sort of political anything that we can be voices in the voting arena that we can get out there and help people understand what the real issues are about these these bills and laws and uh, different things that are getting passed and then help us be strong when these things come up in our face. When, when our children say, yeah, but it's a law, it's legal, so why can't I do it? It's legal to get married to my girlfriend um, as a girl. It's legal to have the morning after pill. It's legal to do drugs. Yeah, joyfully, I come from Washington State. So, <laughs> so God, help us be strong. Help us have the right answers that it is your world. It is not the world's world. Or what they're trying to make of it. This disintegration of our society that is coming to pass. And help us be strong in your word. And, and know what your word says about what we can respectfully do. And what we can respectfully be against uh, based upon your word. God, I do know that you're in control over all of this. It just, in, in my heart of hearts, scares me where this country, I was going to say, is going. But it's already there. There are too many laws completely against everything you've asked us to do here on earth. I guess the, the other side of that is as we disintegrate more and more, perhaps we're closer and closer to you coming back. And that would be awesome. <laughs> God, in the meantime, just help us be strong. Allow us to see what it is you want us to do uh, in these fights, in these battles, in these wrong situations that are being made every day in our country. We do know you are in charge and we turn over all that control that we have over to you to help guide our steps of what we're supposed to do here on earth. In your son's name I pray. Amen.